Hey, hey, Ugg fam, Kiki Soto here from Urban Girl Gardening and Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sowing nine basil varieties. Some of them I have grown before, some of them I have not, but we are gonna talk about them all. I'm sowing them using the winter sowing method, and yeah, it's spring, but this is what I wanna do. So this is how I'm gonna get these seeds started. And unfortunately, I do not have my garden marker, so do not judge me if you see me using that permanent marker, child. That's all I could find if you are new to my channel please consider sticking around for a while go ahead like subscribe leave a comment below let me know that you are here and yeah come on in for this ugg hug join the ugg fam if you are interested in learning more about winter sewing, I will leave the link below for my winter sewing video. So I'm sewing nine varieties of basil and I'm sewing it using this garden line potty mix that I got from Aldi's. Aldi's has a sale right now, $4.99 a bag. It's one cubic foot of potting soil and this is my first time trying it out. So let's go ahead and look at it. Y'all, this soil was so soft and it smelled so good. Y'all already know how I feel about compost and it has that, that, that agriculture smell and I'm very excited to use it. I think it's going to do great and it's a slow release fertilizer which means it will fertilize for a while. Now the first basil that I am sowing is a personal favorite of mine y'all, cinnamon basil, also known as Mexican spice basil. And yes, it does live up to its name, honey. It has a spicy, fragrant aroma and flavor. Now in warm climates, cinnamon basil can be grown as a perennial, but I'm in zone 5B so that ain't happening. I am growing it as an annual. I start my seeds every year. Cinnamon basil needs six to eight hours of full sun. It can be brought inside to grow in a sunny window, but it does need full sun. Um, when dried, cinnamon basil makes great delicious tea. It's also beautiful in bouquets. You can use it for baking. You can use it to infuse honey. You can use it to make some smell good potpourri and many, many other ways. Is cinnamon basil in your garden this season? All right, now the next basil that I am sowing is blue spice basil. Blue spice basil is known for its traditional licorice flavor, but infused with hints of spice and vanilla. It also likes full sun, but it will tolerate dappled shade. Blue spice basil is a great source of vitamins and it has been known to strengthen the immune system and reduce inflammation. It also makes a delicious tea and has a nice kick to it. You know, you add it to a salad or a soup. Are you growing blue spice basil? Next up on the list is one of my personal favorites. Again, purple ruffles basil. Purple Ruffles Basil is one of the most attractive basils I've ever grown that I've ever seen. It is beautiful in bouquets, add it to your flower bouquets, or you can just make a bouquet of different varieties of basil themselves because some of them are absolutely gorgeous with gorgeous flowers. Purple Ruffles Basil is packed with antioxidants and it's used medicinally for its antibacterial properties. It's used to make oils that treat skin conditions and boost the immune system. It grows well in containers and is beautiful in the garden as a companion plant to your nightshades. Are you growing Purple Ruffles Basil? The next basil on my list of nine is number four, Psalm Queen Basil. This basil is used widely as an ornamental herb and looks beautiful in flower beds. It's also great in exotic dishes. Psalm Queen Basil has a strong anise flavor that is delicious in Thai cuisine. This basil likes full sun. It's a perennial in zones 10, and above and it can reach up to two feet in height and two feet in width making it ideal for both flower beds borders and large containers have you grown psalm queen basil is it in your garden this season
The next basil on the list is a little cutie patootie. I'm talking about the dwarf Greek basil. This basil is a very compact variety. It's ideal for container gardeners and kitchen windows. Dwarf Greek basil only grows to be about six inches in height, but what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in flavor. It's small, but its aromatics are strong with hints of mint and clove. It's great for flavoring sauces, pestos, and bruschetta. And again, it is ideal for the container gardener. It also makes a great companion plant. Are you growing Dwarf Greek basil? I think you should be. The next basil on my list is clove basil. Clove basil goes by many names like African basil, East Indian basil, fever plant, shrubby basil, mosquito plant, tree basil, and so many more. It's a very tall basil variety. It grows to be a bush. It's considered a bush basil. It grows up to eight feet tall and can get eight feet wide and it can live for years. It's both edible and medicinal. The oils are used to treat diabetes, anemia, diarrhea, cancer, bacterial infections. I am not a doctor, so you're gonna have to research all of this yourself. It's very fragrant and aromatic with hints of clove and thyme. Are you growing clove basil? The next basil variety is a pollinator's dream, baby. I'm talking about cardinal basil. It has thick, full flower heads and lush foliage, great for many uses like flower arrangements, garden borders. It grows great in containers. It gets about two feet tall and two feet wide. It has a really strong fragrance and flavor of anise and licorice with some spice. Are you growing cardinal basil? This one is a beauty because, you know, I think you should be. Number eight on the list is holy basil. Native to India, it's also called Tulsi basil. And it is truly the holy grail of basil when it comes to its medicinal properties. It has a calming effect, but it doesn't make you sleepy. This basil makes the perfect tea for a morning mental reset and to maintain balance throughout the day. Tulsi basil has been known to ease joint pain, boost immune system, lower blood sugar, lower blood pressure, and it's known to increase metabolism to aid in weight loss. It has a taste like a mixture of anise cloves with a hint of mint. Are you growing Tulsi basil, aka holy basil? I think we all should be. And now last but most definitely not least is lime basil. Lime basil is known as the gourmet herb. It has a strong lime scent and adds fresh citrus flavor to veggies, sauces, pasta, fish, soups, and more. It's packed with macronutrients like calcium and vitamin K. It's packed with antioxidants. It's a perennial in zones nine and above, but can be grown indoors and in a sunny window. I am so excited about this variety. The only one that I don't don't have that I wish I was growing was lemon basil so if any of you have it my PO box is in the description box are you growing lime basil this year So that's all y'all. I sold nine varieties of basil in our evening outside on the front porch. Seed sowing has come to an end. It is dark. We have run out of light. You can see over on the side there my um lights have started to come on so yeah it is time to go back in but first i think we should be doing a giveaway let's go back to the porch for a second so i happen to have an extra pack of cinnamon basil and tulsi basil and i want to give them away one to two of my viewers all you have to do is tell me how many basil varieties i sold and just name three of them not including the ones i'm giving away okay Again, I'm giving away one packet of cinnamon basil to one viewer and one packet of Tulsi basil to another viewer because that's just how I get down. You know I love y'all. <laughs> I love hanging out with y'all. So go ahead, be the first to comment below in the comment section. Learn with me, grow with me. I love y'all for real. Bye.